Hello, welcome to our Kaggle binary classification classes at Fast Campus. I am Andrey Lukyaninko, Kaggle Grandmaster and Senior Developer of MTSI in Rush. We are going to train you with three binary classification machine learning challenges at Kaggle. So, why these challenges and why not others? First of all, why Kaggle? Kaggle is a machine learning challenge site right by Google. It is hard to get good data to practice with if you are a machine learning beginner. Fortunately, we can use good data from global organizations here at Kaggle. And also, even if you have data, you don't know whether you did well on analysis or not. Since Kaggle is a competition, we get scores or percentages so we know where we are at. And finally, you learn from others as well at Kaggle website. So now you understand why we chose Kaggle over others. Next is why I chose these challenges. Since most of you are probably beginners of machine learning, it is hard for you to start with regression, which is a difficult concept or other complicated classifications. And, of course, it isn't a good start point by going straight into a deep learning project. So, we have decided to do three binary classifications, which are zero or one situations, to be or not to be, success or failure, fraud or normal transaction. The first one is Titanic challenge. And I know there are many Titanic classes in Korea, but we still decide to do it since it is a hello world of machine learning. Also, here we go very slow. We try this and that. We'll make you try this way and that so that you can feel what it is all about. We explain basic things like begging, boosting, voting, and so on. We use very basic tools and algorithms. We try some parameter tuning as well. The data only has 10 unique columns to train. Also, column labels are easy ones like age, gender, fair, and so on. So we want you to experience an easy ride and soft landing on your first journey of machine learning. So the target of the first challenge is not to train you to become an expert. It isn't to get you into the top 10 of the leaderboard or learn a lot of trendy algorithms. It is just we want you to feel comfortable with machine learning tasks by going over full process from the start to the end. So, if you have finished the first challenge, you are already a winner. But the second challenge is different. We decided to go with Don't Overfit 2 because we felt it necessary. Many of you have tried Titanic challenges before, but a very few people in Korea tried Don't Overfit challenge. This one doesn't have labels like H. It only has features with labels 1, 2, 3, and up to 300. You have no idea what the numbers in the data are about. It is just 0 0.00345 or minus 0 0.0123 and so on. You have no idea what these are all about. If you do machine learning, it is hard to avoid overfitting. Like Americans say, you cannot avoid deaths and taxes. Then add overfitting to those if you do machine learning. You cannot avoid deaths, taxes, and overfitting, or at least any temptation to overfit. If you do real-world data science tasks with a huge size, and if you look at the numbers on the data, generally you have no idea what they are about. Frankly, it is hard to meet some nice data like those of Titanic. Many features are useless or irrelevant. Many data slots are empty or missing. So you cannot take a look at the data and say, well, I just decided to drop this line. For example, 
Although there are lots of missing values in both H and cabin columns in Titanic Challenge, why do people free feel free to drop the feature cabin while being reluctant to drop H? Because you know the name of labels and H seems to be important and cabin seems to be less important. So we are all prejudices. Real world is not friendly. So I want you to practice with data with 300 columns with no labels and very long rows of data which, which seems to be meaningless numbers. In these cases, you need to figure out importance of features. I have prepared a few techniques like LFI, permutation importance, recursive feature elimination, sharp, and some extra cross-validation techniques as well. It is very important for you to look at the data without any prejudices and go with analysis techniques only. Also, you learn that early stopping, more cross-validation and dropping unimportant features are essential to avoiding overfitting. And after experiencing our beginner's challenge in Titanic and strange-looking data in Don't Overfit 2, we go into a real-world challenge in fraud detection. In here, we do lots of feature engineering and finally meet huge datasets which seem to belong to the real world. And here, we finally want to do better, want to get a good score, want to learn techniques from the master himself. I hope this three-step training will boost your ability in classification tasks in machine learning. For our next challenges, we will do multi-class classification, regression, and image classification. But first, you have to master these three binary classification one by one. And you will feel more comfortable with machine learning. Good luck and enjoy your challenges. Thank you.